Thank you to the Parkinson Foundation for inviting Om Home Shala to participate in PD for Health at Home Fitness Friday. And thank you also for the recently awarded grant so we can offer classes of yoga and meditation to our community twice a week in Spanish and English. You'll have a list of these classes at the end of the video. You can reach out uh, on our website for more information on these classes. My name is Grisel Gonzalez, and I designed these protocols specifically for PD symptoms with the help of psychotherapist, Dr. Gara Osman. So thank you so much for joining us and I'll lead you through a short 30 minute practice of yoga therapy for PD. All right, so all you need for this class is a chair and we're gonna stay seated. Usually we stand behind the chair, we work a little bit on balance, but today we're just gonna do a gentle seated practice. And we'll begin with a centering, right? In yoga, you know, we always begin with a little bit of centering just to kind of get the shift from whatever we were doing before to the present moment. So place the hands, palms facing up on top of your legs. If you experience any tremors, just allow the hands to maybe turn facing down, or if you decide to keep the hands facing up, just observe the tremors, right? Not trying to stop them, just observing them. We're gonna focus on deep belly breathing. So a breath that is not causing any strain to the body, but it's a little bit deeper than the breath that you have right now. So if we inhale, the belly rises, and as we exhale, the belly comes back in towards the spine. So begin to observe the movement of the body as you breathe. And notice where the body has little tension and see if you can relax just a little bit. We're gonna pair movement with breath. So as we inhale, belly expands, and we're gonna keep the hands open. And as we exhale, we're gonna close and bring the thumb and the index finger to meet, right? So keeping the hands right where they are, you're gonna inhale, open the hand, and then as you exhale, only the thumb and the index touch, very gently and lightly. So begin to practice with me. Inhale, open, exhale, close, let that breath out. And we're just gonna do this for a few rounds of breath. You can keep your eyes open, looking at a point straight ahead with a soft gaze. Observe the breath, observe the movement. Notice your body. And after the next breath, release the hands, palms facing down, and take a moment. We're gonna begin with a series of movements to warm up the body, all the major joints, right? Working a little bit on mobility, in the body. Let's begin with trunk circles. So we're gonna move gently one way, following the circle to the front, to the side, to the back. Add the movement slowly and making sure that we're breathing as we go. And then find the circle in the opposite direction. So we're gonna be moving very slowly, mindfully, observing the body, noticing maybe where it feels a little bit tighter, maybe there's a little bit of pain. So just observing and following along, um, but feeling comfortable in the movements. All right, we're gonna add gentle flexion and extension to the spine. So we're gonna draw the hands in as we open the chest gently 
And as we exhale, we'll hold down to our knees and gently roll down, right? Inhale, finding a little bit of an opening in the chest as the shoulders gently squeeze together. And then exhale and round. Every time I visit this pose, I add a little bit more range of motion as long as that feels okay for me. Right? One of the things we learn in yoga is to listen to our body, respect our body, never pushing the boundaries. And round. On the next breath, allow the spine to lengthen, reach, and then begin to add a gentle shoulder roll. Up and back. Lifting up to the ears and then going down the back. All right, rolling the shoulders up and forward. And observing if it's the same on both sides, roll back once again. Or is there a difference between each side? Roll back, very good. All right, bringing the hands right here, heart center, opening the hands gently. So I have all the fingers together, the heels of the hands together. We'll inhale and reach the arms up a little bit and then lower down, not letting the heels of the hands separate. Inhale up, exhale down. Feeling the engagement of the muscles and the arms and chest as we press the hands together. All right, next time you find halfway, interlace your fingers and then add a gentle movement in the wrist. So we're trying to isolate the wrist and make him rotate, adding mobility. When we add mobility to our body, we increase its flexibility. And when we increase flexibility and mobility, it translates into a better balance. Extend the arms forward, do a little bit of a circle. This is the palms of the hands are adding a circle in the front wall. Rotate the other direction. Very good. Bend the elbows and then pressing out, warming up through our elbow joint. Bring it in, press it out. Very good. Bring the hands towards the side. We're gonna push a little bit on the walls as we move the head gently to look towards the one side. Come back, bring the hands towards the front, and then exhale, look the other way. Inhale to center. We're gonna do that one more time each side. Press. Come back to center. And go to the side. Very good. Release the hands down and to the side. Open the hands and then move a little bit in your chair where you're trying to find the sit bones pressing even on both sides. Roll your shoulders back and then allow the crown of the head to lift a little bit higher towards the ceiling. On the next breath, inhale, hold on to the chair and then let's add some lateral movements to the spine. We're staying on this side, so lower down and then reach up. Every time I come to the side, maybe I can move that arm a little bit more past the midline of the body. Next time we come here, we're gonna hold the stretch and then reach through the fingers and towards the side wall. Allow the breath to deepen. Very good, and then slowly release. Let's take a pause before we do the other side. Take an inhalation, and as we exhale, we're gonna exhale through the mouth with a sigh. Ah, you know how we do this sometimes during the day? Ah, like letting a little bit of release in the body and in the breath. We're gonna go on to the other side, so we hold on. 
to the chair, and then we reach and come back to center. Again, reach, come back to center. Reach, hold, and then add a little bit of length and add a little bit of a deeper breath, right? We never wanna be, bring the breath so deep that it's uncomfortable, but just a little bit more than uh, our natural normal breath. And then release down. We'll hold on to the chair, we'll gently lean forward as the arms straighten, and then we'll look down towards the floor, towards the feet. Inhale, looking up halfway through the front wall. Exhale, look down towards our feet. One more time like that. Inhale up, exhale down. Very good. And then coming back to center. All right, let's warm up a little through the lower body. So we'll warm up through the hip joint, knee joint, ankle joint. So we'll begin by lifting the leg and doing a circle. And adding slow movements really help you build that body-mind connection. And it also help you, helps you notice if there's any area that needs a little bit of attention, right? Maybe one side feels a little bit different. Maybe I stretch that side a little bit more. Right, and bring that leg out and in. Inhaling and exhaling as we go. Very good. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Rotate the leg. And rotate the other way. Very good. We'll open and close, right? That movement that we need to help us get in and out of the car. Very good. Coming back to center. Let's warm up the knee, so we'll hold the leg, we'll lift the leg up, right? Stretching also through the back of the leg, and then we'll extend the leg and bring it back in. Every time you extend the leg, you try to bring the leg a little bit longer, a little bit more range of motion in the knee joint. All right, hold the leg up and then do a rotation for the foot. Try to make it a little bit sticky, so you try to visit different spaces in that ankle joint. And going in the other direction. And then we go up and down a little bit. Very good, release. We'll do the same thing on the other side. So first we'll hold it up, we'll sit upright, and then we'll extend the leg out and in, each time trying to bring the leg just slightly longer. Sit up and rotate the foot. Rotating the other direction. Very good, and then releasing down. Let's do a couple more trunk circles. This is a nice kind of reset posture and going the other direction. All right, coming into mountain seated. Right? That's where we try to stack our shoulder over our hips, try to tuck the chin slightly, and sit as tall as we can. Reaching the fingertips towards the ground. Keeping posture is hard work, right? You have to engage your core muscles, your back muscles that run along the spine. So it takes a lot of strength to hold the posture tall like this. Inhale, reach the arms through the front, up and overhead, reaching the arms towards the ceiling, but allow your shoulders to relax. So don't lift the shoulders up, let them soften down the back. I'm reaching the middle finger up towards the ceiling as the sitting bones press into the chair. So you're creating an opposite force here that allows your spine to be long, strong, and grounded. Take two more breaths. 
and then slowly release through the side, hands on top of the legs. We'll take a breath in through the nose and let the breath out through the mouth with this side. Ah. Right? Letting any tension that builds in the body be released. Right, we're gonna do a sequence now for the neck. So we're gonna work a little bit with chin tucks, trying to work the extensor muscles in the back of the neck. And kind of getting that uh, forward head posture kind of reorganized. So we're gonna inhale, and as we exhale, we're gonna draw the chin back. So try to avoid doing this. Usually when I cue this, people look up. So we're not looking up, we're keeping the chin parallel to the floor. All we're do doing is scooping the chin back as if I'm pressing the back of my head against an imaginary wall. So forward without moving the elbow, the shoulders, and then chin back. Again. And you know you're doing it right because the muscles in the back of the neck start warming up a little bit. They start getting a little bit tired. Go back. Let's do two more. Forward and back. We're gonna keep the chin tucked back as we allow the ear to go towards the shoulder, right? Trying to find range of most motion in the side of the neck. Inhale, extend this arm up a little bit and then let it flow down, right? So it's the opposite arm. This ear comes to my shoulder and I just gently fly this arm up and down. Very good, release that hand down. Tuck the chin in slightly, lean through the back of your neck. Let the ear go to the other shoulder. Again, I'm gonna extend this arm towards the side and move it a little up and down with the breath. And then release down. Let's do a very gentle, slow circle. And then circle the head in the opposite direction. All right, and then coming back to center, tuck the chin in and look over the side, creating a little bit more range of motion. Come to center and then look over to the side. Remember to keep your shoulders facing forward. Don't turn the shoulders along with the head. We're only turning the head. Turn. Come back and exhale. Very good. We'll finish with two circles to the left and two gentle circles to the right. All right, coming back to center. Let's do a little bit of opening and closing to the hands. And then a little bit of kind of like a claw where you're only getting the top of the fingers and then close it tight, open, close it a little tighter, not too, too much and open. Very good. One open, one closes, right? Adding some movements. And release down. Very good. All right. So allow length in the spine. Take an inhalation. And as you exhale, see how the body feels. See if there's tension anywhere. Maybe you can relax before we continue with our sequence. All right. On the next breath, we're going to come to the front of the chair and we're gonna open the legs a little bit, right? So we're gonna come like this, one leg, and it can look maybe a little bit more this way if you feel like it hurts your knee or anything like that. So we extend, we bring this leg here, and then we're going to kind of extend the arms up, right? So my arms are facing the knee and then I'm gonna open, kind of like into warrior two, as the arms come facing the front. Inhale, reach up. And remember if you have any shoulder issues, right? Any pain in your shoulders, which sometimes happen, you can work from the hands here 
to here, right? So you don't need to bring the arms up and overhead. We always offer modifications. So if there's anything going on with your knees or your shoulders, you can always modify. Let's do that one more time. So right up and overhead and then opening to the side. We're gonna hold this pose here. Breath in, breath out. We're gonna face the hands facing up, right? Where the whole arm kind of externally rotates and then the arms face down. Up and down and then release. Bring the legs together, take a moment to notice how you feel. All right, extending, right? So I'm sitting to the front, I'm extending this leg out, whatever is comfortable, right? It could be even here. And then I'm bringing this knee here. And then from there, I'm going to come forward like this and then open, right, to the warrior two position. Inhale, up and overhead, and then exhale. Let's do that a couple more times. And remember, if you're doing the other variation for your shoulder, that's perfectly fine. And then exhale. And then find your warrior two and feel the strength of your body here. Bring the arms facing up and down. Up, down, up, down. All right. And then coming back to center. Take an in-breath, then out-breath. Take an in-breath, then out-breath. Let's do a couple more trunk circles. And go the other way. It's always it's nice to kind of release the back and create a little bit of movement there if it gets kind of tight. Round a little bit through the back. Open once again. Notice if there's any shift. So sometimes we notice like, oh, this time around that feels a little bit better. Maybe not, you know, some, some days not. But just notice if there's any change. Roll your shoulders back, sit up straight once again into that mountain seated position. Right? Breath in and breath out. All right, we're gonna find a twist towards the side. So bringing the hand on the opposite knee, the other hand in the back chair, you're gonna twist your spine, but notice how my knees don't move. I'm just twisting um, the spine rather than the knees and the hips. Look over the back shoulder, and then keeping the twist, look over towards me. And come back to center. Same thing on the other side. Twist, holding on, looking over to the back. Deepen the breath. And then look forward, keeping the twist in the spine. Right? So you're looking over the other shoulder. And deepen the breath. Very good. And then coming back to center. All right, now we're gonna sit all the way into the back of the chair. We're gonna take a little bit of a resting uh, position before we finish. But we're gonna do something we call pranayama, which is basically breathing techniques. And the breathing techniques really help get into our nervous system. This specific technique is very helpful to calm the nervous system. So it's very, it's kind of a funny one, but it relaxes our body, our nervous system, and it also helps the respiratory muscle and the muscles here in the throat. So we're gonna take an inhalation, and as we exhale, we're going to make the sound of a bumblebee. All right, so you, I'm gonna show you first and then we can do it together. So we're gonna inhale through the nose, and then through the nose, we're gonna go, hmm. using the sound coming from the throat, right? So let's try again. Oh, let's try it together. Inhale. You finish when your breath is gone, right? So you take the inhale and the bumblebee sound is your exhalation. 
So as soon as I'm out of breath, I'm gonna stop, right? Even if I hear the teacher still doing it or the students doing it next to me. So take a breath in. Now we're gonna go high pitch, low pitch. So as you like, you go little high, a little lower. You do have to make the sound to get the most benefits, right? Because the sound kind of vibrates the body, kind of relaxes the body. So let's do it together. Inhale. Okay, I'm out of breath. I have to stop, right? We'll do it one more time. Breathe in. And then stop and notice the effect of that breathing. So we're gonna do a little bit of a relaxation and we're gonna start by doing a little tense release. So very gently tensing the body to so about 20, 30% and then relaxing a little bit more than how you normally are on your day to day, right? Maybe like a 10% more. So we tense from the feet, up through the legs, through the arms, through the chest. Maybe we squeeze the face in a funny face as we try the lemon. And then we slowly release the tension from the body, right? Tense gently, take an inhale and release. And one more time, tense and release. Release the hands on top of the legs. Take an inhale, and as you exhale, relax completely. Allow yourself to be present in the moment. Notice the muscles of the face, see if you can relax just slightly more. Relaxing the shoulders. And you can keep a point straight ahead. You can look softly at that point or if you're comfortable closing your eyes, you are welcome to close your eyes just for a few rounds of breath. So it's up to you, however you like. And see if you can be present in your body, noticing maybe sounds that you hear around you, Staying in the moment as much as we can, allowing the body to be as soft as it wants to be, as relaxed as it wants to be. As you start bringing the breath back into the body, see if you can move your fingers and your toes gently. Take another deeper breath. Let's wake up the body, reaching the arms up and overhead. And then exhale to heart center. Again, inhale, arms up and overhead. Exhale to heart center. Thank you so much for um, doing the class with me. And thank you to the Parkinson's Foundation for having Om Hom Shala uh, participate in PD for Health at Home Fitness Friday. I hope to see you at our classes at Om Hom Shala. They're listed right now. You'll see the, the slide uh, with all the classes that we offer to you guys at no cost. Thank you to the Parkinson's Foundation. So I hope to see you soon. Thank you so much. Namaste.